I've never been to Australia before, so pardon my ignorance, but I, I gotta ask, is it normal for them to hold reptilian boomerang conventions? <laughs> like, there's so many friggin' boomerangs getting tossed around right now, and it's incredibly difficult to avoid all of them. You'd think they'd be a little bit more mindful of the giant child running around eating potentially poisonous wildlife. What's up guys, welcome back to Tasty Planet Forever, a game that I haven't played in a very long time, mostly because I beat it. We did a full playthrough on the channel, I ate everything, but I never did unlock any of the secret characters or bonus levels. Until now. The thing is, you need to be real quick in this game to get stars, and then you use those stars to unlock all of the bonus secret stuff, but I prefer to take my time, be a bit of a smartass, entertain as it were. So I just decided to go into the game's code, switch a few ones to zeros, and then before you know it, we're eating the world again as a baby. Wait, what? I know it's just an innocent little infant, but like, I, I don't like it when characters' nipples stare back at me. For the most part. Just, just put them away, okay? We also got all the bonus levels. It says that I need, what, 337 stars for this? I got 25, but just like that, the bush defense is a good offense. I'm really happy I did not spend stars on this pun. Is it even a pun? It's just a bad turn of phrase. <laughs> Make sure the bush doesn't get eaten. Okay then. What, this bush? I was probably not supposed to do that. Bad baby. <laughs> Stop having goats crawl up your butt. How about we try that one more time? Make sure the bush doesn't get eaten. So we want to protect it. We're a strictly carnivorous baby. Didn't think that was something I was gonna say today. <laughs> and again, I, I didn't think it was possible to eat feral goats without teeth. Wait a minute, are these are these the world's smallest feral goats or the world's biggest baby? Okay, well they ate my bush again. Seriously though, the scale here doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, are they the size of a chihuahua or am I the size of a golden retriever? <laughs> because if it's the latter, then I feel pretty bad for my mom. I can only imagine that I came bursting out of her like a xenomorph. <laughs> Whatever's left of her probably looks like a firework went off in a deli meat sandwich. We're oh, doing good this time. There we go. Everybody stay away from my bush. My, my mama bush? Maybe I was born in the bush. Who knows? Then again, it doesn't look like I was born yesterday. <laughs> I'm crawling around and wearing diapers, so I might be months old, years old. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been a baby and I haven't been around one ever. I'm gonna go with ever is probably the safe bet. This is the extent of my knowledge of children. Devouring goats whole and protecting plant life. Holy crap. Uh, uh, we're so, we're so close. Everybody stay away. I am growing to be even stronger. Yes. Way to go, baby. You even almost got me a star. How could I have done that any faster? You know what, Tasty Planet? I'm not even gonna get mad anymore. I, I, I don't care, you can take your stars and you can shove them up your tasty butt. I don't need them anymore. We're moving on to Watch Out, They Spit. Who's they? Are, are we gonna spit out bits of undigested feral goats? Oh, they're camels. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ, there are a lot of camels. <laughs> Where am I right now? Where are my parents? Where's my dad, I should say. We know where my mom is. Dealing with being inside out and regretting her life decisions. <laughs> Again, how big am I? Oh wait, I forgot we have a scale. I'm 5.6 centimeters? Wait, what? 5.6 centimeters long. Are these camels the size of ants? Am I missing something? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I'm like this big. So, okay, screw it. Just eat all the camels and don't ask questions. You can even hear them hawking it up. They're like, hawk to, hawk to. <laughs> There's so many of them and there's nothing else here. It's just sand as far as the eye can see. And, and, and many salivating camels for whatever reason. Bunch of humped bullies. You guys think you're tough, don't you? <laughs> Picking on a random little desert baby. Well, just you wait. I'm gonna reach the tipping point right about now where I can devour your adults and now there's no running from me. 
I'm not even running, I'm crawling, and it's gonna be good enough. <laughs> but you regret your decisions now, don't you? Yeah, how about you head back to wherever you came from? Because I don't think they just wander around the desert. Something tells me they're <laughs> not from around here. Nothing comes from around here except for sand. Come on, get up the last few. I want to I make them extinct. I want them to pay for their decisions. Really, my final score was negative 1,400. Screw this game. Sometimes you can kind of figure out what these levels are hinting at. There'll be a pun or a play on words that you can kind of figure out, but a lot of the times it's just nonsense and there's no way of deciphering it until you play the level. So we're moving on to back at ya, where we're gonna be surrounded by frogs and salamanders and boomerangs, of course. I forgot that this is all happening in Australia, does Australia have camels? I really doubt it. I've never been to Australia before, so pardon my ignorance, but I, I gotta ask, is it normal for them to hold reptilian boomerang conventions? <laughs> like there's so many friggin' boomerangs getting tossed around right now, and it's incredibly difficult to avoid all of them. You'd think they'd be a little bit more mindful of giant child running around eating potentially poisonous wildlife. <laughs> Maybe this is Australian daycare, who knows? Next up, we're gonna combat a marsupial menace. Marsupials are, what, platypus? Platypuses, platypussies? Uh, or is it kangaroo a marsupial? Okay, I really don't want you eating my butt. Um, okay. Ignoring the fact that there's a baby eating people, should we be concerned with the kangaroos eating people? <laughs> Again, is that entirely normal? I, d I don't really know. Maybe they all owe them a couple of uh, dollary dues. Actually, I had a comment on a video recently saying that they're didgery dollars. Again, I apologize, my own ignorance. <laughs> I just want the kangaroos to leave me alone. Maybe they're not trying to eat me. Maybe they just want to put me in their pouch. I'm gonna let them put me in their pouch. Ah, they don't want me in the pouch. It really goes to show that for every Steve Irwin tragedy that hits the news, there's thousands that are just ignored and, and left to diaper fodder. I can only imagine what that diaper must look and or smell like. Like, we've got goats, we've got camels, we've got people, we've got frogs. The frogs are definitely the worst, right? They're already turds with legs. Once you eat them and poop them out, they're essentially turd squared. Oh my god, I just want to get big enough to eat a marsupial. Come on, look at the size of me. Look at the size of you. That's more like it. <laughs> We've moved our way up the food chain, and everybody can be incredibly concerned. Honestly, at what point do you call in the National Guard to fight off a giant baby with a haircut like that? I'm only just now noticing that our hair is questionable at best, and not because it looks like a question mark. Because it does look like a bit of a squiggly turd. We're 1.15 meters long. It's really hard to get like a, a sense of scale, but I want to say that's too big for a baby. Our next challenge will be the Great Dingo Fence. Is that like Australia's version of the Great Wall of China? It doesn't sound all that impressive. Oh my god, it's a horse. They're so dumb looking and delicious. Oh, yeah, we, we can fill up on fence. Oh, they're using the fence to keep in their livestock. Or I guess keep out stuff that was gonna eat their livestock. Like me. I know some of them are gonna take this personally, but what's a few sheep between friends? You gotta keep the next generation healthy and happy and full of wool. Eating a sheep whole would, again, not be particularly delicious. Oh, God, we can eat the horses already? And we're only just getting started? Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait a second. We're almost one and a half meters long, and the level only just began. So are things finally gonna spiral out of control? We gotta get a zoom out eventually, right? There's no way the baby's just gonna take up the whole screen now we're talking. So one thing that these bonus levels are missing, you don't keep zooming out and zooming out and zooming out, they're just kind of like silly little challenges, which is fine, I really like that, but I, I definitely wouldn't mind eating the entire planet from start to finish as the baby. Why is there a fence in the middle of the road? Am I missing something? Is, is that how these work? 
<laughs> we're eating whole trees and their complete specs. We gotta get another Zuma. We're 14 meters long. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that things are out of hand when you can pluck the trucks out from between your teeth. Again, don't really know if I have teeth. A lot of the more important turns of phrases with stuff like this just doesn't really work out. <laughs> Stupid baby is ruining everything. What else could we possibly eat? We're eating their great fence, sure, but there's not a whole lot more here. Just a blasted landscape. <laughs> no offense, Australia. <laughs> oh, okay. Even more fence. We're now a kilometer long. Uh, that's a big baby. <gasps> All right. I like it. I think we reached the end. I make jokes, but I'm not the one who created this game. They literally depicted Australia as just being a lifeless landscape. Like the only thing interesting to eat here is a fence. I'm now 13 kilometers long, 15, do I? How much fence am I eating? 20 kilometers long, oh, oh. This is cool. I like, I, I'm gonna say I like this, I wanna go more. I wanna get to the point where we can actually eat all of Australia rather than just kind of see its outline. Next up we have Boomerang versus Bullets. Doesn't seem like a particularly fair matchup. Are, are they finally sending somebody in to get rid of the 20 centimeter long baby? Uh, apparently big enough to eat people whole. <laughs> they are soldiers. For some reason they're shooting park rangers. What is happening right now? Is there some kind of like civil unrest? <gasps> I'm really confused. Oh, or maybe we're just like on the set of some kind of Australian blockbuster? Australian Mythbusters? What's stronger, boomerang or bullets? Better shoot some people and find out. <laughs> Holy crap, the boomerangs are killing people. <laughs> you see that? The soldier just exploded. All the same, I, I think I'm the one who's the winner in all this. Why are the rangers fighting the soldiers? I, I can't even make up a story. It's just complete nonsense. <gasps> oh, you're gonna give me a star for that one, are you? Well, maybe I don't want it. How did I go from being so big that I could see the outline of a continent to eating bugs in a level called Bugged Out? I would imagine it's bugs. Uh, okay, yeah, there are bugs. I was gonna say, that's a lot of knives. <gasps> Why are there knives? Let me guess. They're not knives, because this is a knife. I know babies are naturally chubby, okay? But does it feel like we're an extra chubby baby? <gasps> Look at those legs. We're technically on a paleo diet. We're only eating what we could find. Crickets and poop beetles. Knives and horses and so on and so forth. I'm just concerned for our health, okay? We shouldn't be fluctuating in size this much. You know, 26 kilometers, three centimeters. You can't be going up and down like that. It, it, it's not healthy, especially for a growing young boy. I hope this is a, it's definitely a boy, right? The nipples wouldn't have stared back at us otherwise. <laughs> Come here, poop beetle. Oh, just beetle? Yeah, we're not gonna go with poop beetle? Fine, see if I care. We not gonna eat the knives? I'm just gonna try my best not to touch them? Oh yeah, okay. Well, that's probably the healthy decision, I suppose, but <gasps> I'm so tired of getting a negative score. There are still four more bonus levels left, so I'm not really sure why it's telling me thanks for playing. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, it said tanks for playing, didn't it? <laughs> Okay, listen, I'm a baby, okay? I'm not the greatest at breeding, but I am pretty good at juking the military. <laughs> Just give me a second here. Gotta eat up all of your plants. Now, who who would like to park inside of my mouth? Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> we'll get up to tank level in no time. If they leave anything for me, they're driving through. <laughs> <laughs> this random little village. It's not even a village, it's like a trailer park. They're just rolling over a trailer park to get to this baby and it's definitely not working. Not quite your size yet. I keep, I keep like rolling up to them and just kind of like comparing a little bit. No, not quite, then roll away. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're still firing into the abyss. You guys really gotta give it a break. 
Have you tried singing to me? Have you tried toys or maybe bribing me with a little sugar? Anything like that would probably work. You're really just gonna make me wait for traffic, aren't you? Because you're not leaving anything else behind. Okay, friendly fire is definitely on. Again, not something I expected to say today, but how many tractor trailers does a baby need to friggin' eat for it to be able to digest a tank? We're still nowhere close, or at least it doesn't feel like we're close. Be, be a little generous and not count the barrel of the tank towards its size? Come on, come on, work with me, tanks. There we go. Okay, that, that one wasn't for me, I suppose. Now we're getting somewhere. Don't we all feel better? You better stop winging me. This is all because you guys hit me with boomerangs, okay? That's where this hatred for the Australian people began. Now you gotta roll out. Actually, now I think about it, how many tanks does Australia really have? Really? I'm, I'm willing to bet that it's not this many. They probably can't afford to just throw them away to Babyzilla or whatever I am. I don't even have a name. My mom never gave me a name. She kind of sent me out to digest the world. I was never loved. I just want to hug you with my insides. That counts, right? There we go. Don't, no, don't, do not. Don't want your stars game. What would a video of Australian jokes be without an overused Crocodile Dundee joke? I even made this joke already. That's not a knife. Let me guess that the big one is a knife or is the, where's the big one? Is there even anything here to, oh. So I just work my way up to the bigger knife. Is that the joke? Even as a baby, I don't find that funny. You can jingle keys in front of me and I'll pee myself. I like to think this was the Australian government's last resort. They're like, okay, the military's down. It's already eaten all of our tanks. But what if we just laid a bunch of knives out for it to choke on? Next, they're gonna try, you know, like, leaving a bunch of forks out around outlets or maybe opening up the cabinet underneath the sink and just leaving all the colorful liquids unattended. Who knows? They've gotten just a little bit desperate. But it, uh, it's not really working out for them. Unfortunately, and they can keep their stars. I'm still gonna, I'll be pissed about that until we stop playing this game, I'm just saying. Considering I can't even walk yet, I really doubt I'm old enough to have a driver's license. <laughs> so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna take part in a tractor race. I mean, if they want me to eat all the crops and then eat the tractors, I could probably do that. Hey, 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 no, no. You guys are not allowed to eat the crops, they're my crops. We're just gonna put the baby into overdrive and hopefully sideswiping them as they go about their business isn't illegal. Am I gonna get fined for that? Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I ate enough of them in time to eat you guys. <laughs> they didn't say anything about the fence, did they? No, we're, we're probably fine. Screw regulations. I'm gonna eat the judges as well. Not that much of a race. I'm really going for a high score as opposed to a speed. Now, where'd that last one go? Oh, good. I thought I let it out when I got rid of the fence. That would have been upsetting. And the final bonus baby level has us eat around the bush. What exactly that means? Who knows? We've got bushes and we've got wildlife eating the bushes. Oh, Oh, no, 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 you you guys, don't be, don't be greedy. Le leave some for baby, don't appreciate that. Oh, this isn't good. They ate everything. So is there, no, oh, nothing left to eat for baby. Eat bushes faster than the other animals. What other animal? I'm not an animal. All right, you know what, that's fine. If you wanna treat bush baby like an animal, then bush baby is gonna act like an animal. I will outcompete you. It will be survival of the fittest. I will do my very best to use the mouse controls as well as the screwy speed up to get to the point where I can eat feral goats. Yes. Okay, okay. I think I think we're good now. As long as I can eat something, I should be fine. Goats will still wander in here. Plants not so much. On goats, there we go. Okay, we got a foot in. It's only a matter of time before I'm coming for you, you bully horse. I really wish the goats wouldn't baa in terror. Why can't you just be eating all easy? No, feral donkeys, what? 
Oh, I didn't want them to hee-haw in terror either. Oh, it doesn't feel good. You know what? I, I, I want to go back to being a human <laughs> rather than feral baby. That's exactly what I am. Oh, feral goat, feral donkey, feral baby. Hopefully we can eat feral horse soon. I still don't mind the horse just neighing in terror. Deserves it. Bullying me this entire time. I saw him bite me a few times when I was going for the bushes. <laughs> baby doesn't forget. Easily. Can I even form memories yet? Not entirely sure. I don't remember. <laughs> Where's that damn horse? Are you around here somewhere? No, I don't want the donkey. I want the horse. Did they... That's the stuff. Brumby? What kind of name is Brumby? Was that... Is that a horse or is it its name? No, they're apparently called Brumbies. I thought maybe that horse was specifically called Brumby because its parents hated it. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Tasty Planet Forever, guys. And if you guys wanna see another episode like this, you know, more bonus levels, uh, another secret character, there are seven more for us to look at. And I don't know what any of these secret characters are, I just randomly chose the Dingo because he's the derpiest of them all, but if there's other things like babies, then, you know, don't spoil anything, but give me a hint, which one do you wanna see next? Leave a comment, leave a like in the video, that kind of stuff, and I'll return to eat everything again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.